Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. IRS granting die diesel penalty relief as a result of Hurricane Ian. Honestly, gas tax relief sounds appropriate in this situation. Because the first natural response to seeing a hurricane of that size coming your way is the involuntary release of gas. I mean, it wouldn't seem right for the government to be making money from a gas tax when the gas was clearly released out of fear. It may give the government bad ideas. They're like, hey, the deficit's way up. How can we increase revenue? Well, if we scare the crap out of everyone, we can increase our gas tax revenue. Honestly, is this how the whole global warming thing works? A giant storm hits, resulting in us releasing a ton of fear-related gas, causing even larger storms, which then cause even more fear-related gas to be released? Like, I feel like we're in that Monsters, Inc. movie where the people are scared in order to generate energy, like, for the monsters. But first, a joke. The poor actor could not decide if he was a man or a woman. I can't decide, I just can't decide! So he, she decided to split it in the middle. Oh, you want to split down the middle? Here you go. Some have called his, her decision half-cocked. I mean, we can't go around half-cocked. But... He, she proceeded wholeheartedly with his, her, half-cocked decision. Protest, and we no-heartedly believe that with your help, we can conflate buying our products with genuine activism. Honestly, I remember the days when most dudes were obsessed with going the opposite direction of this kind of half-cocked decision. You don't send them off half-cocked. Not that that's healthy either, I'm just saying. Times, they are a-changing, man. But whatever. IR 2022-169, September 30th, 2022, Washington. The Internal Revenue Service, in response to disruptions resulting from Hurricane Ian, will not impose a penalty when dyed diesel fuel with a sulfur content that does not exceed 15 parts per million is sold for use or used by emergency vehicles on the highway in the state of Florida. This relief begins on September 28, 2022 and will remain in effect through October 19, 2022. This penalty relief is available to any person that sells or uses dyed diesel fuel in an emergency vehicle for highway use. In the case of the operator of the emergency vehicle in which the dyed diesel fuel is used, the relief is available only if the operator or the person selling such fuel pays the tax of 24.4 cents per gallon that is normally applied to diesel fuel for highway use. The IRS will not impose penalties for failure to make semi-monthly deposits of tax for dyed diesel fuel sold for use or used in an emergency vehicle on the highway in the state of Florida during the relief period. IRS publication 510 excise tax, there's a link to that here, has information on the proper method for reporting and paying the tax. Ordinarily, dyed diesel fuel is not taxed because it is sold for uses exempt from excise tax such as to farmers for farming purposes or home heating use and to local governments. The IRS is closely monitoring the situation and will provide additional relief as needed. So there's links to those options here and so you can get some more information on this and there'll be a link to this in the description.